Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the flush. I, I mean, the flash. All right. This movie, um, DC Comics, The Flash, great character. Love the comics. Well, some iterations, obviously, and it gets a little weird and. The Flash has a rich history, though. I'm a big fan. But this movie, it's not an awful movie. But it did something that, for me, just turned me off totally. I, look, you got this Ezra Miller guy, and you got him playing The Flash. And I thought he was okay for the, what, Snyderverse and what they were doing. You know what you don't do? Put two of them in the movie. And then play the fucking card over and 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 over. Him with his fucking mannerisms and his words and the way he speaks. And you've got two of them. Oh, you're me, I'm you. Time fucking. It is just fucking. For me, it was stupid and irritating from beginning to end. And then. The twist at the end type thing. I, I just don't know what to do with this movie. And again, this is a beloved character for me in a sense too. Uh, I have so many Flash comics probably. They do some crazy feats in the comics. And this is taken from a great story where he goes and he tries to save his parents and he fucks up time. And they take some of the actual panels from the comic you know he he loses his power he's got to get it back but what they don't do in the comic is overdo the you're me i'm you we're both the same person different timelines i don't have powers anymore now you, I'm, you got the power and i gotta get my power back in the middle of this fucking sci-fi weirdness of him moving his arms and doing the speed thing i don't like it at all and I'm going to take myself back and say this is not an awful movie in that sense of people aren't going to like it. It just fucking irritates me to no end to the whole movie. And if it wasn't for fucking Michael Keaton reprising his role as Batman, this movie would be, for me, worthless. I will never watch this movie again, even with Michael Keaton in the fucking movie. I just don't fucking get it. These fucking two fucking bar two flashes is just the most annoying fucking thing ever. First off, yes, it could be, you know, in hindsight, who the fuck likes this guy anymore? So many police reports and minors and stuff. Fine, he's a Hollywood eccentric, whatever. Maybe he'll have a great career. I don't know. Probably a good actor, but he's playing this character the way he played it. From, you know, the Snyderverse. And he ups the ante. And then they up it again by putting another one of him. And you've got to do the whole fucking movie like this. And one of them doesn't have power. The original doesn't have powers. The new one he does. And it's fucking stupid and fucking dumb. Again, if you didn't have Michael Keaton's Batman, his fucking movie for me would be just fucking stupid and dumb. However, again... Taking back my maybe not liking him as a person. You know, we all have biases. We get them from, you know, picking up everything. You watch TV and little fucking blurbs here and there. And he's a fucking idiot in real life. Fine. I'll admit that. Maybe. But I didn't mind him in the Snyderverse movies in that sense. Because he was his own Barry. And it's fine. It's, you know, you don't, and you don't have to have them fucking meet another Barry and become this fucking duet of fucking idiocy. And this whole fucking movie is riddled with it from beginning to end. And then, if you want to say it's the flush, fine. You flush this whole fucking Snyderverse down the toilet. You've got cameos from everybody. Some weird CG cat fucking you know cameos. There's a funny story with, um, you know, Superman, um, 
<laughs> I forgot his fucking name. He's such a, you know, it's just fucking, I don't know. I couldn't take it no more. I really couldn't take it. Uh, I kind of like the Supergirl, Kara angle, do things a little different, and things like that are fine. You know, you get uh, Jeremy Irons as Alfred again, you know, but you're, you're piecing together different Batmans. I'm not, I'm not against that. But, you know, you've got Nicolas Cage. Oh, so the story with Nicolas Cage was he comes in, he does a couple of things. He looks around, he's watching the universe to, to get destroyed. And he's going to think that, okay, they're going to de-age him. And instead, they put a fight in a big uh, spider thing, which was, I think, uh, an original script by, um, oh, fuck, you know, I should do my homework. But um, Jane Silent Bob guy. Um, just little Easter eggs for everybody here and there. Kind of fine with that because that's what you're doing. Different alternate timelines. And I didn't even like this way they use the special effects, the way they use the speed or the framework for what they see and how it works. It's fine. They did their own thing. Again, I don't think this is an awful movie, but I had an awful experience in it. Because I had to watch these fucking two idiots ham it up for the whole fucking movie. And part of the fucking comic was, holy shit, how fucked up is this? When he's got to try to get his powers back and he's fucking electrocuting himself. And just, there's some deep shit and some real deep tones that go through this. And they just fucking throw it out the window for, hey, all right, spoiler, this other Barry is this time race. That's been chasing everybody. Fine. I get it. And you have a little thing in there. You put a little twist in there. I saw it coming a mile away. I do have a question, though. When you're the Flash, and you can somewhat heal, right, fast, rapidly. You know, in the comics, he, like, vibrates, and it speeds up the metabolism. Whatever, well, fine. And you've got a healing factor. Explain to me how fucking you're fighting Kryptonians with another fucking craziness. Fine. You're going to do the Man of Steel, inject that in, get the, you know, points from that, and it's hard to beat them, you can't beat them, but this other new second Barry Flash gets these blades stuck in him, and he becomes this Cyclone Blade thing, and tell me how that works against Kryptonians, and how come it doesn't rip your fucking skin and rip out of your body every time, I mean, I get Wolverine, Logan, Bones, Laced with adamantium. And even in the zombie universe, you know, he does something in the flesh and shit comes off the bone. Like, what were you trying to do? Again, this might not be so fucked up. It might be a nitpick it's in the general sense. But I'm not liking the whole fucking banter between the both over and over and over. This plot is fucking, you know, wacky. And okay, I'll give them props for. Doing a alternate universe type shit could actually happen. You know, like, alright, so he, you're trying to save your family or your mother from dying. And by doing that, you're saving your father from being in jail because he's, you know, and the TV show did this too. You go back and you create a new timeline. Uh oh. This is. Uh, okay, so I should say that I. Again, I think I mentioned it at the beginning. I've only been doing this for a couple of fucking minutes, right? Is that the cameos of different Batman, I thought was smart. I, I liked it. Especially at the end, you know, when you see fucking um, the other Batman. And it just, there are, there's not horrible things in here that it's just an awful movie. But it's hard for me to find the things I like because, all right, so I like Michael Keaton Batman. He's fucking Awesome. Awesome. Do a Batman Beyond with this fucking guy. Give him a really small part that he just gets through the movie with a new Batman type thing with a new suit. He'd be fucking awesome in it. He's just made for this shit. He's just because you know it's 89 Batman. Um, Again, I'm not liking the dialogue and everything that's going on from the second he tries to do his thing from the beginning to the end. I'm just fucking annoyed i want this to be over the little bits and things that interest me uh supergirl um obviously michael keaton's batman 
you know, and it's not that, you know, he's got a uh, a race against time thing too, in a, in that sense where he couldn't just stay there and like be wiped out. I I don't know how he, you know, my memory with this fucking movie. What if he would have just just went into a fucking tunnel with no powers and just lived as a hermit? Like, would this world have? Would reality have frayed anyway? Would this time variation thing have like made things go wrong, or was it him repeatedly doing it? Because when you get towards the end of the movie, it's them repeatedly doing it. Like, oh, we can do this. Oh no, we just lost. But let's figure it out. We can't win. I thought that was a little kind of bullshit. I didn't like the way it tasted. You, you know, you're, you're going to do all these things and then go back. And again, I didn't like the setup where they go to this coliseum and timelines are like little images. I like the premise of it, though. They're like, you know, Nicolas Cage is Superman and other variations of Superman and other heroes, alternate versions. Oh, watching the universe die or the multiverse die, right? Worlds collide bullshit. You know, gotta find Batman. Like, there's some cool things, but you got these two characters in it for the whole fucking movie. And it's fucking annoying. And God, the first 40 minutes, of this, like, first couple of minutes of this movie where it's setting everything up is just... Ugh, it's just fucking bland to me. I get you doing your own twist. I get the nuance of it. And I'm not surprised that people like this movie. I'm a little hesitant to say it's a good movie, because I think if you're going to do this, you do a real closer rendition to the comics, and you keep the Barry thing toned down, like, all right, we're serious now. I fucked up. You're a fucking murderous Batman. It's not my Bruce, but we can do this. They decided to do this duplicate buddy fucking thing, and it be fucking grating on my nerves. Holy shit. I just... Uh, I'm again, watching Gail Gadot with Batman, Wonder Woman. I get it. I get the going to visit his home and, you know, bringing his mother back. I think that is a little too forced. It didn't feel like it naturally happened. Like, the conversation, oh, I can go back in time. Eh... I think he should have prepped this up in his own movie beforehand. Maybe made a continuation double trilogy, maybe. I mean, I don't know who the fuck would keep this up, but I can't, I couldn't take it. I just really couldn't take it. The fucking, the Barrys, right? Is that how it's fucking mentioned on, like, Wikipedia? Uh, I Again, I like the Kara thing, the Super, you know, Supergirl. The Batman with fucking Keaton nails it. He's awesome in it. It brings a real nostalgia and love to the movie. If there's any of it for me, again, I'll take myself out and say this is an okay movie with a risky type plot device that you tried to do. Um, risky that you did this fucking Ezra Miller to begin with and kept him in the movie because you had way too many fucking parts in this movie where... It just fucking flatlines and just makes me want to fucking roll my eyes until it's fucking I pass out. Just doesn't have it for me. But I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, my friend comes over. Oh, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I had a fucking fun time. There's some crazy stuff in here. Fine. The multiverse is fucking exploding, imploding. You've got, um, you know, the twist with the fucking speedster time rate thing. And... Future version of Barry. Ah, oh, and it just, um, you know, oh, we gotta let the mother die, create a new timeline, and rope. Well, there's a little bit of a twist again, and I'm okay with it. Like, if you were setting up everything and this was the Flash's movie, ugh, you know, I would, I would never watch it again. I'm serious. This is just, whatever, but my little thing about the flush is let's let this flush the fucking universe out. Bring in old guys, new guys. You can actually do the multiverse thing probably pretty well. You keep some of these things um, segmented and, you know, to the point, a little more tighter. 
not have a fucking silly buddy, um, you from the future bullshit escapade fucking movie where you got this annoying fuck who's amped up to the annoying fuck level and you want to make me fucking watch this movie and enjoy it. It wasn't happening. It's bad enough the way he does his own thing and again, I'll give them credit for doing their own thing and getting their own actors. Fine. But do you fucking think for a second Henry Cavill um, this new whatever universe that you're doing you can keep this element in it. Maybe you can. Maybe you can do the reboot of Superman you want, but you can have Henry Cavill, um, you know, like, because in the comics, they go fucking bonkers. This is, you got super, you got like three Supermen on Earth at times, you know, a one from this alternate Earth too, and whatever, and he's got gray hair, and, you know, you get the Smallville guy, <laughs> do it all, but do it smart, do it in segments, you could have your own Marvel Universe, MCU, I think DC characters just too awesome, Let's be honest, they're fucking great in that sense. Um, oh, but man, I wanted to fucking like this movie. I want to like The Flash. I'm not kidding. Like, I, got, I got like 27 long boxes of comics and a good portion of The Flash. Because this comics, when this gives a good run, are fucking awesome. And I'm not a fucking... I think Barry fucking is, in, is the b- boring worst of them, almost. I'd probably go with Wally West in the comics. His run has just been epic. And to bring Barry back and to give him the spotlight again, I thought it was fucking dumb. It was just about when I quit doing comics. And it wasn't for that. I didn't think the quick comics was what they did to the Flash. But I understand this whole fucking thing. I I, I know the comic storyline. I get where they were going, what they took, what they didn't. Uh, here's our multiverse. It's in shambles because the Flash did this. I'm fine with that. Um, again, you can bring these characters in. You can bring this uh, Supergirl in to any universe of Michael Keaton's Batman to a Batman Beyond. I'm down for that. You want to keep this Flash? I'm fine with it. Don't do another fucking buddy version where he meets a more annoying, fucking aggravating counter fucking self somewhere alternate and have a fucking <coughs> huge huge part of this fucking <coughs> hour and fucking whatever fucking movie fucking over two hours this movie of them being fucking annoying oh you know all right so let's uh let's let the mother die and everything reverts and i kind of like how they still made it where it's a little different and i thought that was pretty cute but there are a lot of people who i've heard of that don't like all the camera look Yes, the CGI looked fucking weird. Singing Nicolas Cage. Why don't you just use Nicolas Cage old and kind of de-age him? Give him that older Superman look? I've always been interested in that Superman that never was type thing. Uh, John Schnepp did a good, um, great documentary. Super- the Death of Superman Lives, whatever the fuck it was. Um, pretty, pretty amazing, uh, actually. So there's the Nicolas Cage aspect. Um, I'm I'm not I'm not against how they did it either. You know, people singing windows into the universes colliding and mixing. It kind of invoked some of the comic book to me. I'll I'll give it that. Again, this is not a horrible frame by frame movie where I'm just fucking you know at my wits end. This is. I don't know. Can I, could I ever just pull myself out of this? Because I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't think I'm going to watch this again. And that, to me, is the death now of the whole Snyderverse movies. Why did I watch Justice League again? Because it was the Josh Whedon cut, and it was much better than fucking Snyder's fucking Justice League. And even Snyder's Justice League extended fucking fiasco, bullshit, shit fest, shitty fucking movie. And at the time, Josh Whedon was getting fucking called out for all the bullshit. I was fucking so angry. Like, go fuck yourself. You know, you fucking... Whatever. Like, So even my body still worked the opposite. Like, I didn't like the... I want to hate this guy, you jerk off. And, uh, but you know what? You improved the fucking movie. What do you do with this stuff? You know, I don't know. You, you did a cool thing with the TV show. You know, bringing the flashes together. 
And I think that smarting that should have been done from the fucking beginning, even with Marvel with their teasing bullshit with Angel Shield, did it right. But, you know, you never had Tony Stark. You should have had every star revolving through every once in a while. But this, okay, what do we got here? We got the Flash TV show up to season eight. You got a handful of good episodes throughout the whole fucking eight seasons. Some great acting, great characters. And it just seems like it went bullshit. Like they started, you know, penny pinching his outfit and special effects. It looks fucking stupid. Some of the dumbest shit ever is in that TV show. However, we're talking about the movie, The Flash. A buddy, time displays, multiversal adventure, which fucking sucked from that point of view. Again, I don't like his fucking stupidity that much to begin with, but I'm okay with... You know, you're casting a weird Barry, and that's the way he is, and I'm fine with that. He had a little bit to do, not so much in the movies. It wasn't so aggravating. Again, yes, maybe I am fucking bringing in real life shit with the actor, but I don't fucking ever want to watch this movie again. I can't believe how fucking angry I'm getting. Think about, it, like, if I had to watch this again, like, if I had to do deep dives and, like, talk to critics and, like, do a real in-depth, you know, shit online, like, live. I would fucking regret it. I don't want to watch these two fucking asshats go through this fucking movie with all the bullshit over and over and over and over and over and over. And I'll give them credit for doing their Coliseum time travel thing. Like, you know, little things to make it, you know, unique, and you did his speed effects in a certain way. I don't like it, but... I'm not going to say it's done shit, it's awful. It's just, you know, people's taste and whatever. I do think people, you know, you're a little freaked out with Nicolas Cage's Superman, looking so CG. But I think people will be perfectly fine with all the Batman cameos, Gal Gadot, Aquaman, like whatever you have to do if you even piece them together the Snyderverse. I don't give a fuck. As a matter of fact, when I watched that shit fest, the Snyderverse movies, I even said, give them... Give him some, give him all, I don't care. Give him the Elseworlds. I don't care if it's a Snyderverse. They're not my movies. But if people are loving them and liking them, you can make them. And I'm not here to fucking shit on that. Oh, man, you fucking keep going back in time and it's fucking annoying. You got this last thing, you're going to get Kara fighting the fucking villain from Man of Steel. And it got kind of boring. You know, and I love the actress who played her. I, I, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Her and Batman, probably my favorite parts of the movie. Well, you know, uh, there are some aspects. Like, I like the, you know, electrocuting himself again to get his powers back, and Batman's helping him. But he's got the fucking ass hat of the Barry there. It's just, oh my god, I don't fucking... A part of me now, as I'm doing this, is a little shocked. That this movie went through like this. Why didn't you just cut out every fucking, almost everything and make this a darker, brooding movie with a really likable, eccentric character who's sad about his mom dying and his father in jail. Trying to get out of jail for it, by the way. He's like, that's why he's a criminal CSI fucking guy. And his father's got like a parole coming up. And, you know, so I'm okay with that being the catalyst, you know, thinking I can do it. And he's talking to Batman. I think he's talking to, uh, you know, Snyderverse and Batman and Ben Affleck, whatever. He's like, no, yeah, you can fuck things up. We have these scars for a reason. They make us who you are. No, man, I get it. And they do it in their fucking TV show even worse. It's just oversaturated bullshit. But okay, you change time. And you don't even know where to go with the plot with this. I don't even feel like I can say there was a first act, second act, and a third act to this movie. It's just annoying. It, like, you know, okay, you, you made some explanations about, you know, you can't find Wonder Woman and Cyborg. Um, you should have found some of those fucking guys in the Black Adam movie. That would have been hilarious. But, 
this secret society whatever the fucking great comic book by the way fucking they ruined it in the fucking movie i don't know and you place this around the man of steel movie which sucks balls first off man of steel by zack snyder is for the first i don't know however that long that, until he puts the costume on and it becomes cartoon destroying metropolis and people dying everywhere because when he puts the costume on and he confronts zod i really like man of steel but if that's just because it's a fight fest and i'm watching superman from the cartoons wreck shit and i'm okay with that let all the people fucking die who cares it bring up good drama with batman it was awesome but it's that movie sucks i'm sorry you know my dad you know let the guy die in a tornado this fucking guilt-ridden boring fucking shit fest retelling of kal so fuck that movie right i mean i don't care um, and you highlighted it, and you know what, the Zod from that movie is awesome, reprising his role, the fucking girl, the Kryptonians, I'm, I was it, you know what, that's the best part of this movie for me, and this movie I don't fucking like, but you redid it, and you redid it, I get it, they're trying to fix things, I get, they're trying, we can do this, well, let's try it this way, let's try it this way, and then the original Flash, who got his powers back, by the way, realizes that they're destroying the universes and he's got to let his mom die it's so fucking transparent it's so you know you know everything that's going to happen in this movie even if you're not a fan i'm guessing you know and you know that's just the that's the movie lover and us so we like watching movies but again i don't fucking see this progression of first act second act third act in my brain the idea of watching this again is Holy fucking shit. No fucking way am I watching this again. I gotta watch these two fucktards go through this fucking movie. And you know what? You didn't just do it a little. You didn't just pepper it in and show the value and give poignant, real heartfelt messages. And if you did, it's drowned out in the cartoonish garbage clown shit that I can't fucking stand. And Marvel, by the way... Is notorious for this and people wonder why how can you make this movie try to make this movie funny but the, the thing is marvel does it very well even the detractors and the haters who come back like marvel had a great balance of putting a funny line in from captain america when this shit's real and it works and maybe it works because they didn't double down on fucking idiocy buffoonery I don't want to see fucking Ezra Miller playing The Flash, first of all, in this whole fucking movie like this, if he didn't mix up the tones a little bit and show the depth of his acting and the character. And again, if you did, it's lost in these fucking glitter, party favors blowing up everywhere, sparkles and shit trying to wow you. This is a sci-fi fucking special effects craziness rooted with the comics and again your art elements in here i will attach to michael keaton's batman the fucking supergirl aspects of the comic of you know getting your powers back and burning yourself electrocuting yourself because your fuck up barry is not going to do it every little trope every little thing this just keeps adding on adding on adding on and i'm not enjoying myself with this fucking movie i'm even getting angry and uh, aggravated upset about it because this should be something i watch again it's a flash movie about the universes i could see me going through it and like just fast forwarding through parts and getting to shit i would like but you know here's a plot for the movie barry's upset his father's in jail he's uh, getting up for parole he's been guilty for the murder of his wife which is false barry's flash and goes back Saves the mom, creates an alternate timeline. Fine, he's got no powers in this timeline. Then it's the fucking clown music. Boop, 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 do, 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 until the end. Because as much as I love Keaton's dialogue and some of his action scenes and his, you know, the, the presence he brings to this movie, which is recognized even by Ezra Miller or the actors and stuff, it's not enough. It's not enough to be endearing to this Kara Supergirl because you can almost feel for her dilemma. Because she comes out of nowhere because 
in this alternate time, like, oh, they're here for Superman, right? Let's go get them. Batman helps them, so the two flashes go and they break out Superman. But it's not Superman. It's Supergirl. And she's got to be put in the sunlight. She got powers immediately, which I thought was a little, it annoyed me a little. And it should have went with the Kryptonians and stuff, but okay. She's got the Superman, Supergirl outfit that's okay. But I felt her dilemma. Like, holy shit, you saved me. I've been imprisoned by this government in a sunless red sun room, whatever the fuck they were doing, keep it depowered. You saved me, and oh my god, now they're here. I, I, I'm going to give her props. Keaton gets all the props in the world. I give no fucks about this Flash character. I hope I never see him again. I don't care if you bring in Grant Gustin, whatever the fuck his name is from the TV show, for the movies, and everybody wants that because you can't not love that fucking guy. Him as a human, him as a fucking actor. I don't know why. Maybe the secrets come out about him. Grant, but you just want to fucking hang out and hug that fucking guy. As shitty di- the shitty as that show got, it's stupid and fucking dumb and fucking ri- ridiculous. As that show got eight seasons or seven seasons of, you still want to fucking see him as fucking The Flash. And a Barry, too, no less. Like, I want to see a good Wally. I don't know. I'm fucking actually getting a little angry. Like... I didn't think this was going to happen for this review type thing I fucking do. I'll be honest. I thought this was going to be like a fun, you know, hey, this movie's kind of okay. It just didn't have the elements I want, and I don't want to see some of this shit happening here. I just, just even thinking back on this is fucking aggravating. There's parts of this movie I want to reveal and talk about that I like. I can't take it in my fucking head. Just this fucking idiot. With another idiot versions of himself going through the fucking movie. And it's supposed to be like a buddy thing and learn things about each other. I give no fucks. Like, like there was no poignant thing that meant something to me. I didn't feel the weight of anything except for fucking Batman. And again, I'm surprised that I can even relate to Supergirl because they kind of did it right. She's been in the darkness for fucking so many years. This guy saves her. They save her. And she's going to help because Zod's after her nephew. I think she talks about that. Like, she followed the pod. She was supposed to protect Kal El as a baby. I'm fine with that. But whatever, if it works, if it matches up with certain comics, whatever. Oh, man. Missed fucking opportunity. A lot of money on this movie. I heard directors are gone. They're coming. Writers. And I'm surprised this movie even saw the light of fucking day. This actor, everything he's fucking doing in real life, just poisoned this movie. And I'll admit that, if I want to be honest about it, could that be part of this? Yes. I mean, do the Back to the Future thing. You know, you can't see yourself. You're hiding from yourself. Like, this is like, no, you're, you're me, I'm you. It just got overused and over fucking done. And just like the plot twist at the end, let's let's we can beat him. No, let's try it this way. Let's try it this way. And you've got this idiot Barry running around. Oh. Becomes this cyclone bladed guy, which still bothers me. Who <laughs> put blades that go through you and you start healing around them and they become extensions of your power to defeat. Kryptonians, like every punch swipe should have ripped these things out of you and he keeps getting more and more it was so fucking annoying and I remember just rolling my eyes like come on you've got this, okay so here's something really good they didn't make it a Superman, Sunshine and Rainbows uh, type of ending, no Supergirl gets killed over and over and over but she keeps trying and of course she's doing it, but they're resetting time. They're trying to do this, they're trying to do that. And they realize they can't save her. And I actually thought that was fucking good. This Earth is not prepared for fucking Zod and his people. And as much as they try, they can't fucking stop him. And he keeps killing Supergirl in different variations. 
I kind of like that. Again, I'm, I don't know why I have an attachment to this Supergirl. Totally not the look built like I would expect at all. They've nailed this even from the movie. But they got that um, beautiful actress, the player, and even the TV show. Uh, I don't... Uh, you know, she just has something that resonates with me. And the movie did it well. And Batman, Michael Keaton, holy fuck. Bring this fucking guy back. This guy exudes professional talent. Even his zaniness works. <laughs> uh, it's the trauma and nostalgia. I'm going to probably end this and not talk about the flush. Uh, also, yeah, it's the flush. Flush this toilet, get everything out, clean it, throw a little bleach, and you know, get that cleaner. But I'm okay if a couple of little shit turds pop back up in the water. You know, uh, I'll be okay. You can litter this throughout the fucking movies. But don't think you're going to replace Henry Cavill with a new Superman legacy bullshit with the new creative team. And you're going to put this fucking ass hat in the movies. You can't have another Flash movie. Ezra Miller cannot get his own movie. He will not fucking work for me. This is not... You might have been able to do it if this was a serious take with not so much buffoonery in it. But I get that's his character, but it's his also duplicate character. It's just too much. You could have toned him down and matured him a little bit and still had that quirky side. Because I'll try to fucking put that shit aside, the real life stuff, even though it is affecting me or not. But the Flash, fucking multiverse, worlds collide. You had some good elements in there. It's probably a decent movie that just fucking hit every nerve that I had. I do not ever want to watch this movie ever again. There's no fucking way unless I go through and just pick out things because I want to re-see, I want to see something again and if it, you know, entices me. So there you go. The flush. I mean, the flash. Oh, man. And I kind of got to kick out of some of the fucking, especially at the end when you bring in, um, what's that Batman? People hate, I love them as Batman. The fucking movie was, ugh. But, um, yeah, bringing all the Batman. He's like, what? You're not my Bruce, but this is my universe now. Yeah, so some things are different. And you can use that. I'm fine with that. Maybe even bring Grant Gustin as Wally West. Maybe that would fucking work. Fuck everything like that. <sighs> damn, 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 damn. I don't know. I kind of appreciated George Clooney at the end. I gotta admit, I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give them some props. <laughs> ah, here we go, everybody. Watch the Flash. You want to have a couple of little turds pop up and boop boop boop? Uh, you know, we'll just flush it again. But I'm not fucking watching this movie again. I'm sorry. Eh, what are they gonna do? Can it all be winners? So, in that, let's end this by saying, I hope everybody's doing well. Happy holidays to everybody. Ho, ho, ho. Thanksgiving. I hope it was great. Christmas and New Year. Love you all. Be well. And take care.